Hey guys, this is Dang87. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cursor. This is also the foundation of what you'll need to know how to make sprites. What essentially we're going to be making is a flying sprite. But the same applies for a cursor. So here we have a little computer that I've made, a little laptop, and we can go onto the laptop and we can access it as if it's a computer. So here we have our cursor and we can move it around and the idea behind this is that we cannot move it out of its zone so its area is inside the computer not outside of the computer screen so we are able to stop the movement outside which is what this tutorial is all about. So for this tutorial you are going to need a controllinator, an advanced mover, a directional splitter, a directional combiner and impact sensors. So to start off with we're going to use either sticker panel or we're going to use holographic material. It's up to you. I prefer sticker panel because then you can make a cursor look like a cursor. So we're going to make our cursor. You can make this using any of the stickers that are already made. They're quite useful. Um, I myself I made my own I will be showing you how to make pixel art in a video to come. But for now I'm going to use one that I made earlier. So as you can see I have a piece of sticker panel and I have a sticker of a cursor on it. This sticker panel is using a full layer. Make sure it is using a full layer, not the thin layer. So first up we're going to stick our controllinator onto the cursor itself. We want this controllinator to be invisible because we don't really want to see ourselves on top of it. Then we are going to add a few pieces of logic. The first piece of logic we are going to add is the advanced mover. Now 4 seems to be a good speed. But what we want to do is increase its acceleration and deceleration to both 100%. Next up, we are going to get our directional splitter. And our directional combiner. Then we are going to take our up and down from our left stick, put it into the directional splitter. So plus gives us up, minus gives us down, and we will eventually hook them all up together. So then we're going to take our combiner and put it into the advanced mover. Then we're going to get a microchip. Place the microchip between the combiner and the splitter. From the splitter, Take the wire for the plus into the microchip and then back out the other side. We then want to do the same for the minus, which is down, using a completely different microchip. So they each have their own microchip that they're passing through. Then what we want to do is do the exact same thing for our left and right stick and for our left and right input of the advanced mover. So we can copy the exact same thing, take the left right and stick and then put the output into the left and right on the advanced mover. Next up we want to create our borders. So these are the, the surroundings of the zone where our cursor is allowed to be in. So we're making a restriction zone. So anything on or around the border you cannot pass. So this will be our top. I'm using sticker panel to do this. I'm going to turn that piece of sticker panel red. It also needs to be on the same layer as the cursor. And obviously it's not thin as well. This is so that the cursor will actually impact the sticker panel. 
So we want to make one for each side and they need to be individual, not stuck together. So that it's not you're not making a frame with a solid mass. You're making each part of the frame, so there's a top, there's a side, there's a bottom. Now that we have our frame, we are going to put a tag on each part of the frame. So we're going to start with the top, and we're going to have this green, and we're going to call it up. Now we're going to place it on. Then we're going to have the same for the bottom, but this time it will be called down. And left and right will also have a tag for themselves. Now that we have our borders defined, we can go back into our controller later and we want to get an impact sensor. We're going to place the first impact sensor here. Then we're going to edit it. We want to allow touching, so to include touching. And we also want it to be a tag, green. And the first one we're going to do is up. Then we're going to place the output of that into the microchip activator of the plus sign on the directional splitter for up and down. We also will need to invert that impact sensor. Now if we were to test our controller our cursor, sorry, and our controller will not be able to go past the sticker panel at the top because that is the green tag that is up which is preventing it so if we have a look while we're in you can see that the microchip is actually being turned off which is stopping the signal to go up then as you can probably guess we need to do the same for each of the sides. So minus on our directional splitter is down. So we're going to choose the green tag and down and that will be the activation for our microchip there. Again for left and right exactly the same. We need to give it the left and right on the impact sensor and we need to place it into the activation of the microchip. Plus for the right and left is right. Minus is left. So now when we enter our cursor, we will have restrictions on where we can move. So if I go up or left or right, it will stop me. Left and right can also be stopped when you reach a corner. But if you're hitting right, then only left will work in the directions and up and down, unless you hit left and up. Then you can make yourself a little border if you were to make a computer for instance because this is a cursor tutorial. You make yourself the screen, you can make yourself a little border around it. It's up to you how you make it look. Just going to do a basic cardboard one here to demonstrate. Obviously the cardboard is not the thing actually stopping you. It's actually logic behind. Maybe without dying. And there we have it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Keep tuned for more, and don't forget to subscribe. There are going to be lots more sprite tutorials coming out very soon. Cheers, guys.